So now we got all of our files scanned in and organized and renamed so they can be easily ingested into Animate Pro. Now I have a different setting. I'm using a custom one because I want to make sure that we have a lot more resolution just in case we wanted to punch in a little bit more. So I'm working at a 2K resolution and I'm, uh, Joanne is also animating at 30 frames a second. So here's the default directory where the projects go. And I'll make this scene five Spanko. And click create. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I know the scene length is uh, about 360 frames. So set that up. Then, you can go to File, Import, Images, or you can just click this little guy right here. It's Import Images. So here's where you bring your files in. I'm gonna browse. And I've actually separated each one of these, each one of the layers into their own folder. So this is for hair, this is extra. Um, these are his eyes, and this is the main uh, body layer. So just select all of these. Click open and then create layer and then create layer based on file names. This allows you to bring in the files and allows you to keep the cell number that we made sure was after the hyphen. Uh, I have mine set to black and white because I don't need texture on this or anything. Let me go ahead and open the vectorization parameters. And you see here, there is the op uh, registration peg holes. And this is all default. I just increased the remove dirt to seven. I don't know how much that really does, but just in case there was some extra dirt on the scan surface. Uh, no texture here, that's checked, just so it, it just takes the entire line by itself without any sort, of, um, any sort of texture overlay on top of it. So it's really just black and white. And here's where you have the optical registration. You make sure the DPI is set to 300. Peg side is bottom. Uh, strictness usually is loose because sometimes they may shift in the scanner as they're being brought in. And make sure, of course, optical registration is checked. That is the whole point of everything we did previously. So, um, okay. And then press okay. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time to vectorize. And I'm just gonna pause the recording and come right back when this is all finished. So there they're brought in, and you, know, you can see the layer, and you can see each one of these cells is actually named the, the correct uh, file name. You see up here, let me just increase these a little bit. You see this is cell number seven, and you'll see it's 007, and 29, and all the way down to 251. A little cut off there, but you can see which one that is. Here's 256. So it brings everything in and everything is numbered correctly. Next thing I'm going to do is just go uh, exposure, set exposure to twos. Now I know this one is pretty much set uh, almost all on twos. And you can just see, go back to frame one and click preview. And there you have it. Everything's brought in, everything's named correctly. Uh, it's easy to reference. And uh, if you have done any, you know, you do your pencil test or anything like that, you can bring in your X sheet and just compare, you look at the cells, you know exactly what it is, you don't have to do any renaming in here, and pretty much everything is ready to go. So we're using Digicel Flipbook for our pencil test station. We have Pencil Check Pro from Toon Boom, and we don't like it. So here is our X sheet that we exported. This is a little PDF. I can go in and sequence anything in here. Now you can see the change in timing. Uh, timing changes quite a bit in this. So. Uh, I'm not going to sequence this right now, and that would just be extremely boring.